Hi guys, it's Legionero. Welcome back to my channel and I would like to welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. Here on the channel, we do pattern hauls, fabric hauls, random hauls, which will be a part of this haul. Um, and we do sew alongs, tutorials, watch me sew, sew in, I call it sew in chat, I can't remember. But do a variety of things here on the channel. So if you like the content, please make sure you subscribe. So today is a haul video. It's mostly fabric, but I do have some random things that I want to show you that I have purchased. I'm from Amazon and another different place um, also. So first thing is I ordered some labels and I got these from Wonder Label. I think they're called Dutch Label as well, but I've always just gone to Wonder Label as the site. And these are the labels that I put inside the bags that I make. And I've just ordered from them. They're the first person uh, place that I've ordered my labels from. Uh, when I first started making bags and I just kept ordering from them. Um, I did order some labels with my logo on it from Etsy and I like those. They're very cute, uh, but I have been watching YouTube vid videos on how to make your own labels. <laughs> so I may try that one day, but yeah, I just like the quality of the labels. They're really good quality. I haven't had any issues with them. And I've also ordered the wider ones. Um, they're pretty much the same size, except they're a little wider and I have more room to sew if I wanted to sew a label inside the seam of a slip pocket, then um, the wider ones, I like those. So I'll probably order some more and order the wider labels, but I like these as well. I just place them on the lining and I just kind of sew it around to tack it down. I've also ordered iron on. <laughs> I couldn't think of that. I've also ordered iron on for them. As far as I know, there haven't been any issues. I haven't had anyone tell me that my label has fallen out of the bag that they purchased from me. Um, but just I feel more comfortable with the sewing labels than I do the iron on labels. And when I um, ran out of them, I just didn't order any more iron on. But I will definitely be using these and also I'm going to order the wider ones as well. And when I get those, I will show those to you um, in another video. So that's Wonder Label. I will link. This is a 50 piece. I can't remember the price, but I will um, place it in the description box below for you guys. So next up is um, a couple of things I got from Amazon. And then the rest will be fabric. <laughs> If you watched the video where I recreated my work bag, you saw that I needed some fold over elastic and I didn't have any. So that's what this is. This is fold over elastic I got from Amazon and it came in a pack of 20 different colors, um, a yard of each color. All right, so it came in this little packet here. And again, I'll link um, this in the description box below. I can't remember the price. It was not that expensive um, to get these. Um, I said in my other video, I am frugal. <laughs> anyway, um, these other two things are they're different shapes, but the one that I'm opening is oval and my friend wants me to make her a bag. Um, you have those friends that see something in the store and they go, I think you can make this. Can you make this for me? <laughs> so that's why I ordered these um, in the bag. Use these as handles. Um, so it's like a little clutch purse and you just kind of stick your hand through the little hole here. And these are screw on. So uh, it's a pack of two. Yeah, these come apart. So is two of them and that's why I ordered these and the other one is more let's see, same purchase they just um, same purpose they're just made differently these seem to be a little bit lighter weight 
than the um, ovals. These seem a lot heavier than these, um, but I just saw these and thought they were a unique shape and decide, decided to try them. These are not screw on, I don't believe. These have prongs, so I guess I'll just have to fold the prongs over on these uh, when I get ready to use these. But yep, I've been wanting to get some for a while and when my friend asked me about the bag, I decided to go ahead and order some just to see. And I really didn't make a guarantee on making her the bag. <laughs> Because if it's something I've never done before, I always try to look for something on YouTube to try to help guide me. But I haven't found anything yet, so. We'll see how that goes. And in my mind, the bag is easy. Um, if I find a picture, maybe I'll try to pop it on the screen. But the bag in my mind is easy, but there's just certain elements that I can't quite figure out. Anyway, I may be overthinking it. Who knows? Um, but if I find the picture that she sent me, I will um, pop it on the screen for you guys so you can see it. And maybe you can give me some suggestions on some videos or something like that. I, I will go ahead and tell you, I don't follow directions well. So if, <laughs> if you put in the comments, all you have to do is this, 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 it, that doesn't click for me. I, I have to actually see it being done, either a video or some pictures. And video is preferred because even with pictures, sometimes it just doesn't click for me. But anyway, I do still appreciate any help that I can get. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the fabric. This first fabric I actually got from Hobby Lobby. I had a doctor's appointment and Hobby Lobby was on the way home. So I wanted to stop in there to see if they had some nylon fabric. I follow this um, handbag maker by the name of J. Christine and i had asked her what she was using on the inside of her leather and faux leather bags and she told me nylon fabric so i stopped by hobby lobby to see if they had some they didn't have a variety of colors they had black and i think royal blue maybe a white i can't remember so i just grabbed some black uh, hobby lobby had their fabric on sale 30 percent off and this was 7.99 with 30 percent off so 5.59 something like that and I just grabbed three yards of it and I wanna try lining it, using it as lining in my bags. It um, feels like it's waterproof and it's not as heavy as waterproof canvas. So that's one thing that I do like about it and it doesn't have to be lined. So I do want to give this a try and use this um, pretty soon. So that was Friday. And I got a text from one of my friends and they asked if I wanted to go fabric shopping. So I said, yes, of course. Who doesn't want to go fabric shopping all the time? <laughs> Probably shouldn't go all the time, but we just want to go all the time. But anyway, um, we were trying to decide uh, whether we were going to fine fabrics or melanated fabrics. And we chose fine fabrics, but we ended up in melanated fabrics also. So... <laughs> So um, I will show you melanated fabrics first. And if you don't know what melanated fabric is, where have you been? Um, <laughs> that is um, Mimi G and Brittany J. Jones Fabric Company. They have online and they have a brick and mortar here in Atlanta. And we went there after our fine fabrics excursion. So we got there and I knew that Faith would be there. Faith St. Jules, if you don't know her, if you're not following her, you should definitely follow her on Instagram. And um, I knew I wanted to see her. Um, so that's why I didn't mind going to Melanated. Um, it's, it's not close to fine fabric. <laughs> but I didn't mind going there because I knew Faith would be there. And I hadn't seen her um, since before the pandemic. So, And it will be both of our first times at Melanated. So let me show you what I got from there. So it comes in the bag and it has the melanated fabrics um, logo on it. It's just a brown paper bag. And I have some tissue paper in here. I'm gonna save that for something. <laughs> Even all the time I say I don't need tissue paper and then I need tissue paper and I never have it. So I always have to make a run to the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna save it. So the first thing I got is this remnant and it is a knit fabric, feels like a jersey knit. 
and it's very soft and I love the design that's in it. I thought it was really cute and it's in all the colors that I like black and cream and brown tan. <laughs> um, love all of these colors. This is um, a yard and a third and it's $14. So pick this up and sorry about the noise. And I also got some chambray fabric. It's a denim chambray. Um, I got this and this was $17 a yard and I got two yards of it. I haven't found, well, I haven't been looking either except for fine fabrics. Fine fabrics had some in different colors last year maybe, but I haven't found any in a while. So when I saw this, I knew I wanted to get this because I do love a good chambray or a good tinsel fabric. Um, this is nice and flowy and love anything resembling denim, as you all know. <laughs> so with this, uh, with two yards, one of the benefits of sewing and being short <laughs> is with two yards, I can um, sometimes get like a shirt dress or something out of it um, or some pants. So either way, I will be making something with this beautiful fabric, right? So I only got two things from Melanated. And um, probably the next time I visit, I'll have my mom with me so she can um, get the melanated fabric experience. Um, Brittany was also there, but she was teaching a class, but she ran upstairs um, for something. And, you know, it's, you don't think people recognize you or remember you. But um, when I saw her, I went, hey, and she went, hey, and gave me a hug. So that made me feel special. And of course, I got multiple hugs from Faith. Um, and I'll link both of their Instagrams below, um, just in case you don't follow them so you uh, can get to know them. They mostly sew garments. So, and Brittany has a YouTube channel and Faith also has one as well. So I'll link all of that stuff in the description box below. So let me show you what I got from Fine Fabrics. So I got some black tool from Fine Fabrics. I have never worked with tool, so I don't know how this is going to go. Okay. But progress over perfection, right? <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to give it a try. In my mind, I want a tutu for my birthday. That's going to go with a shirt that I made for myself. Um, my shirt says Virgo Girl Magic and it's in a um, glitter HTV. And the shirt is black. And then I think the HTV is like a silver um, glitter. And then it also has like a reddish color um, glitter in it as well. So I want to make a tutu. So that's what I will be scouring YouTube looking for how to make a tutu for an adult because I've seen plenty of tutu videos for children but not adults. So we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> so I'm going to try to make the tutu and wear it with my um, shirt and take some pictures. I haven't taken any blog pictures in forever. As a matter of fact, I got to call my um, hosting company because my blog is down. So clearly I'm not in a hurry, but I do need to call them um, because I haven't taken blog pictures in so long. And I really do, I mean, I'm paying for hosting, so I need to start back using my blog. Um, and I want to start doing some bad classes and I want to have them on my website. Um, I may post a few on other sites like Teachable or something like that just to have it out to the world. But I definitely want to post some courses on my own website. So I, I kind of need to figure out what's going on with my website. Yeah. <laughs> um, my Shopify works and my pattern um, website works. It's just that my blog doesn't work. Um, that has my name, Legionero.com. So anyway, that was off in another area <laughs> so up next i got this fabric um and i have i can't remember if i bought this fabric um in the last couple of times i've been to find fabrics i just don't remember um, i may have but this 
and if I have, I probably told you then that this is one of my favorite fabrics. Um, this is a Liverpool knit. And I love the design in it. I made a skirt with this fabric. Um, it's just a circle skirt. It's when I first started sewing. And I think maybe I followed Mimi G's circle skirt tutorial. It was the first zipper that I made in a garment. Um, haven't really made any since. <laughs> I think I've tried. I have tried zippers since. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, this is like, I don't know what it is. I don't know why I'm so drawn to this fabric, but I love this fabric. <laughs> and I really don't like when I love fabric like this because I don't want to cut into it. And it's like, why are you buying it if you're not going to cut into it? I do know that I, I have fabric in the closet that I've had for years. But still, anyway, um, I just need to figure out what I want to make with it and um, and make it. So I was thinking maybe a jacket, maybe another skirt. I'm not real sure, but you can tell by how I'm rubbing on it. I love this fabric. <laughs> anyway, this was $5.99. And I got three yards of it. The um, tool was a dollar a yard. And I got five yards of it. I hope that's enough. <laughs> this I got. This uh, it was on the Ponte knit aisle. But this is also a Liverpool knit. Um, these are my favorite colors. Black is my favorite color. But all of these together love 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 um this was also i believe 5.99 a yard and i got three yards of it i want to make a suit out of it um my only dilemma is i don't like matching stripes I... <laughs> I don't like matching stripes i don't anyway this fabric was too beautiful to leave. Um, Mimi G, one of her first patterns, I think it may have been in her second batch of patterns she released, where she did a suit, and the suit was made from knit, and the also the pants, and the pants were like um, crop pants, and it was, it was blue on the envelope, the suit was, and I think that would be the perfect pattern for this fabric. So, not real sure I'm going to do that, because... I really do want to do it, but I started making the blazer years ago and I was following her tutorial and I got the, I don't know if you call it the base, but I got the outside of the jacket made and the only thing I had to do was add the lining and I just put it to the side. I was tired, tired. <laughs> so um didn't finish it didn't finish it have no idea where it is i probably threw it away uh, <laughs> but yeah it's not difficult as long i mean if you know how to sew a blazer then you know it should be fine for you but that was the first blazer that i was sewing so i would definitely have to follow her videos but i mean if you've ever watched one of her sewing alongs you know they are very thorough and I was just taking my time and following her um, tutorial, but I just got tired. And I don't think I really liked the fabric that I was making it out of. So that was one of the other reasons. Anywho, um, saw this. This is a knit fabric. It feels like a maybe terry cloth uh, type fabric. It was on the Ponte Knit aisle, but it's not Ponte. Uh, <laughs> and I just love this kind of like tie-dye print on it. So I was thinking that I would make this out of it. Either this or this dress. But I'm leaning more towards this. Um, and maybe the top on, on the top. So I want to make it for fall. So maybe this top instead of this kind of looser fitting one and then the pants and i got three yards so maybe if i have some left i might make the shorts as well but that's what i was thinking for this kind of like a jogger set 
with this fabric. I think that would be really, really cute. And I don't really wear these colors, so I think this would be something different for me to kind of make and wear. A little bit brighter colors than I'm used to. And then, last but not least, I didn't get as much as I thought I got. Um, last but not least, but I got some good stuff. This is a rib knit. I love rib knit. Um, whenever fall rolls around, I always go to places like Walmart and JCPenney's and see if they have any rib knit turtlenecks because I love them. I feel like you can wear them with anything. You can wear them with a skirt, pants. Um, if you have like a short sleeve dress, you can wear the rib knit turtleneck under the dress and still wear it for fall. You can pair it with some tights. Just love rib, rib knit. Love it. Love it, love it. <laughs> um, so that's what this is. And it's um, like a really pretty purple color. I don't know if the camera's really doing it justice, but it's just, it's really beautiful. And I got three yards of this. And this was, I think, $5.99 as well. Um, two of the fabrics were $4.99 and two of them were $5.99. So I think the Liverpool knits were both $5.99. And this rib knit and the terry cloth like fabric was $4.99. So, yeah. Anyway, that is everything that I got. All right. So, I will say with melanated fabrics, if you come to Atlanta and you want to visit, um, do visit their website and I read everything on their website because when we got down there, we weren't quite sure where to park. So um, make sure you read everything on their website about parking and everything. There's a shopping center um, right next to um, Melanated Fabrics. It has a Publix in it and they have a parking um, deck. So that's where we parked and then we just walked down the sidewalk to um, Melanated. Um, but that's like one of the tips that I would recommend for people. Just go to their website and look at um, where they talk about parking and everything for the actual store. The store is lovely. It's a um, nice um, ambiance, <laughs> I guess you could say. There's uh, really nice music playing. Um, Faith is is awesome. She, from when you first walk in the door, she tells you hi, welcome to Melanated. My name is Faith. Um, this was before she reckoned, realized who we were. <laughs> Once she realized who we were, she was like, ah. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, she, she greets everybody that walks in the door. Um, she helps you get the fabric, cut it out for you, explain anything you need explaining. Um, like I said, Brittany was downstairs. Um, did I say that? Uh, Brittany was downstairs um, teaching a class. And um, so I, we, really get to, we didn't get to talk to her at all, but um, they do have classes so on, and that's on their website as well. If you're in Atlanta and you are interested in their classes <laughs> when we were in there there's a lady she was from Philadelphia and she was dropping her son off at Morehouse College and she knew that since she was going to be in Atlanta she wanted to visit Melanated Fabrics and it's amazing how um, you meet anyone that sews you can automatically just start talking to that person you don't know them you're strangers <laughs> and you just can talk about sewing for the 30 minutes hour we talk the whole time just about sewing and different things like that as if we had known each other for a very long time. <laughs> we had just met her. <laughs> All right, but of course I do recommend if you um, don't live in Atlanta and you come to visit, you definitely should visit Fine Fabrics. And um, they don't have um, a website where you can order yet. Um, I keep meaning to ask them if they're gonna get a website where people can order, but I keep forgetting every time I go in there um, to see if they have any plans to um, have a website um, where you can make orders. I think they have a website, but I don't think you can. I, I know you can't order from the website um, unless something changed in the last week. <laughs> and I also do recommend that you visit Melanated Fabrics because they have a variety of fabrics in different colors that you don't normally find at other fabric stores. And they have a variety of fabrics, um, chambray, knits, leather, uh, baby cord, everything. Um, and if you, they have a website, so you can visit their website and you can see what all is um, on the website. So, yeah, all right. So 
thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. And I will see you in the next one.